Hello, I'm Andrew. I'm here for Science Tech, and I'm going to show you the Science Tech UHE NL-150. The 150 is for the 150 millimeter size target area that this solar simulator, Class AAA, provides on the target. So if we go over here to this integrated system and we turn on the switch, the power supply will boot up and then we hit OK and it gives us some options. First we'll turn the fans on to provide the cooling for the xenon lamp and then we could turn the lamps on. So the light train is inside the cabinet here where the light is focused by an elliptical reflector and then homogenized and transferred down onto the target plane here. This is just like sunlight. It'll give you a sunburn if you're not careful. So like I said, the target area is 150 millimeters and here, not a part of the regular solar simulator but available as an option, is our thermal electrically cooled cell chuck. This allows you to place a solar simulator or uh, a solar cell for your testing to put it on here and be held securely by the little clasps on top of the conductive nickel plated base plate of the cell chuck. Here, this configuration allows for one contact, but we also have allow for four contact measurements and it's micrometer controlled. Normally, we would have a, a tungsten or gold tipped uh, pin here, but it's for safety's sake, it's not in here, so I don't poke myself. And we can move the pin around in three dimensions to precisely place it on the contact, which would allow us to do IV measurements of the solar cell. So I said, this, thermo, this uh, cell chuck is thermoelectrically controlled and it allows us to set the temperature. Also as part of the cell chuck are the banana plugs that you can make to make contacts to both the bottom plate and to the pin when it's on here. So this is easy to operate. You press set to get a set point temperature and the range on this is 10 degrees to 60 degrees, but it's mostly to keep your cell temperature at a nice constant temperature so you're always doing consistent measurements. Set, and the controller will bring it to the temperature automatically. So also, uh, currently we're illuminating the system but we can use a shutter. There's a shutter control here. And all this is, this power supply can be controlled by the computer as well. If you hook it up, we have software that runs that included free of charge with our solar simulator. And it allows you to close the shutter or to open it back up again, or to run it in a loop as whatever your experiment requires, which is very handy if it's computer controlled and you could do other measurements. So that is the extent of the demonstration. Thanks for your attention. I'm Andrew for Science Tech and be happy to hear from you.